they are disloyal. But just in case you need a little more confirmation, here are five ways to know, without a shadow of a doubt, that they are disloyal. Number one, they take you for granted. They look at you as the biggest pushover this side of the Mississippi, I guarantee. Because they know whenever they want you to do something, you're going to be there to do it. And you rarely fail to disappoint. The only reason they take you for granted is because they feel like you will always be there. Well, it's time for you to prove them wrong. Number two, they don't want to see you win. Every time they're doing something, they're excited about it, and they have some type of accomplishment, they tell you and you're super excited for, genuinely from the heart, excited for them. But whenever the shoe is on the other foot, they give you like a courtesy clap, a courtesy applause. And you can feel something is not right. And you're thinking to yourself, I just told you some great news for me. And you're not excited for me? And this happens over and over and over again. They don't want to see you win. It actually drives them crazy. It actually upsets them when you're winning and you're happy. Not the type of person or not the type of people you want in your life. Number three, they show or have very little respect for you. They just treat you any old kind of way. Talk crazy to you, talk down to you. They are trying to mold you like clay. You are not clay, so stop letting that person or those people mold you and treat you any kind of way. You were put on this earth to win. You have a purpose, you have a reason, you are enough. You are not their little doormat, so stop allowing them to walk all over you. Number four, they put themselves and everybody else ahead of you. You're supposed to be their number one. You're supposed to be their ride or die. But every time you have a need, every time you have a desire, every time you have a want, if they or somebody else has another need or want, you on the back burner. You hung out to dry. You all by yourself wondering where they're at. Why is this person, why are they not there for you in your time of need? Or when you really need them to be there? I'll tell you why. Because they running around doing something for that person. They running around doing something for that person. And they totally forget all about you. And number five, it's obvious. They do not have your back. Because that moment in time, when you fell on hard times, and you were struggling, they were nowhere to be found. But when you were bubbling, when you had it going on, when everything was rosy and you could treat and you could do this for that person or that for them, they were all up in your personal space. You couldn't shake them, you couldn't get rid of them. It's obvious they don't have your back. And I'm gonna say this again, you better take your scissors and cut them off because they continuously are stabbing you in the back. Halftime homies, you can do bad by yourself. So yeah, just like I told you, they are being disloyal. And if it was me, and they were showing me disloyalty, I would show them detachment. So it's time for you to detach yourself from them. Because you cannot win with bad teammates. And your objective is to emerge victorious. So once you do that, you will find yourself climbing over the hump and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. And guess what? This is a great day to win. Let's go.